millions of Filipino voters cast their ballots in the May 13 midterm elections, which is seen as a referendum on the presidency of former Davao City Mayor Rodrigo Duterte. Some 61 million registered voters will elect 18,000 officials. From among 43,000 candidates for the Senate, the entire House of Representatives, governors, city and municipal mayors, and the respective legislative councils. Duterte virtually put his neck on the line when he drafted his lieutenants, former presidential assistant Bongo and former Philippine National Police Chief Bato de la Rosa, to run for the Senate. Both have since ranked high in the latest surveys with Project a 12-0 or an 11-1 administration victory over the opposition. The Duterte administration ratings itself has risen to excellent in the Social Weather Station survey of March 28-31. The Pulse Asia survey conducted from May 3 to 6 shows only opposition Liberal Party bet Bam Makino having a statistical chance of getting a Senate seat, placing 9 to 15th among the seven candidates, fighting it out for the last four slots in the Senate race. According to Pulse Asia, the 15 candidates preferred in the survey are Re-electionist Senator Cynthia Villar, Re-electionist Senator Grace Poe, Taguig City Representative Pia Cayentano, former presidential aide Bongo, former Senator Bong Revilla, former Senator Lito Lapid, former PNP Chief Ronald De La Loza, Senator Juan Edgardo Angara, Ilocos Norte Governor Aimee Marcos, re-electionist Senator Nancy Vinay, Re-election is Senator Coco Pimentel. A re-election is Senator J.V. Estrada Ejercito. Former Senator Jingo Estrada. Re-election is Senator Paulo Benigno Bam Aquino. And number 15, former presidential advisor Francis Tolentino. At 16 to 17 places, independent former Senator Serge Osmeña and former Senator Mar Rojas. Following them is former Senate President Juan Ponce Enrile at 18th place. Voting started at 6 a.m. and ended at 6 p.m. Counting is now automated with the Commission on Elections deploying 85,000 machines nationwide. The results of the Senate and the party list race will be canvassed by the Commission on Elections starting Tuesday.